All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, when you're fighting this guy, DC, you know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. And when they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say, it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with Bear. <laughs> he is so strong, he's so physical, and the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov's strike. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay, it sure. it's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Chico. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat. Oh, man. Oh, straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. That's a big strike right there. Oh, very nice leg kick there. High-level stuff. 
Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. The right hand just misses. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Another leg kick land. More work now to that new leg. Solid leg kick is good. Oh, big punch land. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just over three minutes now to go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got that tight clinch. Try to establish that jab. Nice body. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Just misses with the left hook. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nermago Medov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just over two minutes to go. Trying to hammer that lead leg. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Khabib lands early and he lands off. Went inside on that leg kick. Through the jab left hook and went inside. Usually you see you know, guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. 190 seconds now to go in round one. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, slips to avoid the right. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. <laughs> Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking his shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Only five seconds to go here in round one. Nermago Medov gets hit with a kick. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, now going to the judo zone. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pound or he can chase the mission. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here. And I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there on the bottom. <laughs> All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. You ready? You ready? 
big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, that's a nice strike there by Namago. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing this skill every single day. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing, overwhelming him with different attacks. Good series of strikes by him. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Went for the inside leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Big head kick lands. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Nermago Medoff. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, massive knee up top. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Back and forth we go. tie there. And there comes the separation now. Head kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Punch over the top. Head kick lands. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And both guys, and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control, he's got a ton of options. Just over two minutes to go. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. He's postured up. He's landing big ground and pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's gonna get stopped. Nurmago Medov's going for an arm here. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, now he's in trouble. And there it is. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Now let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger in finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. You claim the winner by tap out, Habib, the Ebola, the Bible
All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.